Hello everyone, this is the BMW i5 M60, 600 horsepower, all-wheel drive with an 81 kilowatt hour battery and now we're going to do a range test with 110 kilometers an hour. You can see this as a mix range test for if you drive a, a bit of country road and a highway at the same time, not just 100% highway as my 130 test. This car is 20 inch uh, summer tire, sport tires on because hello, the power. Um, and I'm charging here to 80% I'm doing charging test. I'm at 34% and it says another 30 minutes to 80%. It's a bit of a long time. Um, we charge to 80% then we go. It is around 11 degrees today and not raining but no sun. I'm on my way again, driving 113 now. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. Started with 80%. Um, reset my trip. My climate is on 21 and a half degrees for the whole car. You cannot say, hey, I just want my side. It doesn't work. And uh, I think I have to pass a bit faster. Someone's coming from the back. And I'm, of course, in efficient mode. Yeah, that's normal for the 110 drive. I can't just drive 113 and pass a car when there's someone with 130 coming. And this ID4 here is just driving a bit faster. So I had to uh, pass a bit uh, faster so he's not being slowed down. I used 10% of the battery and drove 335 uh, kilometers, so it could 350 kilometers would be our range. Of course, this is not amazingly accurate since we only use 10%, and you have to think first 10 kilometers were uphill, so I'm really guessing we're gonna get more. Uh, right now, I'm estimating 370. That's what I'm estimating, or 365, something like this, but we'll see. I used 25% of the battery, drove 95.5 kilometers. That's a full calculated range of 382 kilometers. Let's talk about how the i5 is on a highway with 113 and of course it's, I don't think it's quieter, it was quiet at 130, it's quiet now, it's comfortable. Assist works a tiny bit better at 110 than at 130, I noticed that. It has one annoying thing. Even though I have in the infotainment system, I have turned off that it auto automatically takes the, the speed limit that it sees to adjust it to it. So I have to press set to adjust it. Um, when you are in assist plus and there's a speed limit, it goes to that speed limit. That's annoying. Or where the speed limit is over, it goes to 135. That's, that's not nice, so I would like that to be off, but maybe there's a different setting for Sys Plus to not use that, it's very possible. Mm -hmm. 
I turned around, navigated back to, to the Georgia and it for sure doesn't know that I'm driving 110 because it wants me to charge. Um, and I don't understand right now. I cannot see what charger that is. I pressed everywhere. It just says 19 minutes and I think it means 19 minutes charging. Not 19 minutes to get there and 19%. I have no idea what this means. I pressed on it. Nothing happens. I was in the full map. I have no idea. Um, but I think it's 71 kilometers. Get back to the charger. I hope so. <laughs> um, I just uh, got to 30% state of charge and I drove 192 kilometers. That would mean a full calculated range of 300 84 kilometers so my range calculated range stayed around the same which is good uh, my heat is now 20 and a half degrees because uh, like I said it gets warmer and warmer and then I turn it down and turn it down more I don't have a sys plus right now what's going on now I have it um, yeah drive has been amazing I had to go out at a different exit and pee because I was about to explode, so there was for sure a few hundred meters more than uh, I, I would if I just go straight. I found it, here it is. Um, you have to go through the whole, to the whole route so you can see everything. Oh, I changed the volume. And it wants me to charge from 19 to 25% at the EMBW in Hengersberg. So the kilometers stay the same, it's okay. Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. Stupid question. How can you do that? With NCharge. NCharge is an app. You install it on your phone and when you are at a charger like this, you rate the charger. You give the charging provider via NCharge information. Can you charge there with a caravan? Is there a toilet? Is there food? Um, is there a playground? Can you walk your dog? All this information. and. Uh, the charging provider and NCharge gives you for this information uh, kilometers and stars and these you can exchange for charging credit. And now all new in the app, when you, are, uh, when you use the app in Germany or France, you can use the app right away to start charging. So you don't need a charging provider where you use the credit. Really cool. Check the link in the description below to get 20 kilometers to start with. I arrived with 12%. Um, kilometers would be 262.5 I think maybe 263 so again pretty good so I calculated and I get to 385 kilometers of full range got a bit more in the end um, it wanted me to charge the whole time it didn't want me to arrive with 12% for whatever reason but it was fine yeah i'm gonna charge now to 80 percent and then i'm gonna go back where i just came from from the whole range test i was there already twice today and do my triad drive uh, power drive drive with the 230 that the m60 can do because that's that's fun <laughs> uh, if you want to compare results from all of my range tests charging tests and my long distance trip test there are google spreadsheets links in the description below if you want to follow me on instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes i have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye